Hello everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading for all signs. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. We're looking at the 1st of August, 2023. Sorry, my chair is creaking. <laughs> it's such a comfortable chair though, so I'm not changing it. It's the way it is. So let's see what we have for all signs. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. What do we have for the day? And I'm going to do it in the form of a spirit message, actually, because I'm doing the spirit message readings at the moment. So let's see what we have for the day as a message. We have synchronicity. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from spirit from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. Divine orchestration. Let's see what we have. Let's pull a power animal oracle card. What do we have for the day? What's a spirit animal oracle card? What do we have for the day? Thank you. We have boar, pig. Face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious. And it feels like some kind of synchronicity associated with that. Let's see what we have. Let's pull an animal archangel message. It's the animal deck, uh, archangel message. What do we have for the day? Eagle sees, opportuni sees opportunities courageously, archangel Bok P. Now the eagle can be a great sign of being watched over. It's also a great clari clarity energy as well. Let's pull a Sacred Destiny card. What do we have for all signs for the day? Thank you. Going forward. Let's read that out. We have the grassy hills. When you receive this card, fertility, productivity, love, health, abundance and fulfillment are ahead of you. Things are growing and expanding in your life. Keep going forward. Sometimes it may be easy to be distracted by what's occurring around you, but this card indicates that it is important not to let anything hold you back from increasing the bounty in your life. Step up and know that your needs will be taken care of. Your life is escalating and intensifying in the best possible way and for your highest good. Okay, let's put some cards and see what we have for the day. What do we have as a message from Spirit for the Day? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Daily Tarot Reading. What do we have for the day? We have the Two of Swords. Three of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles, and we have the King of Wands. You know, with a separate deck, I want to pull an extra card with this. 
And the card I want to pull, I want to pull an extra card for the Two of Swords. It feels like you're waiting for something. Two of Swords, Three of Wands, stuck. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're waiting. You're nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. This is beautiful energy there. Uh, you're waiting for the bounty. You're waiting for to get what you deserve. I feel this is to do with money. Uh, yeah, you're a little bit... I feel that you're feeling stuck. You're waiting for some more information coming your way. Spirit is kind of telling you, however, I feel this is coming into you. Synchronicity, divine timing, divine orchestration is at play. Nine of Cups, you're getting your wish. I feel that's ahead of you. That's why you're being told, keep going forward. You might feel that you're not getting anywhere, but keep on going. With the Nine of Pentacles, material success, reaping the fruits of your labor, getting what you deserve in money, career, finances, or money areas. Standing on your own two feet in your own abundance. Three of Wands, yeah. Again, a little bit of waiting. I feel that you're waiting on some more information with the Two of Swords, maybe waiting for clarity. I did say with the Eagle, things are going to become clear. With the Three of Wands, you've taken steps in a particular direction. And this is an energy of being stuck, waiting for some more Maybe information coming your way or a decision or communication with the three of wands. Then something is on the horizon. Uh, the ship isn't in the harbour yet, but this is something that makes you feel more positive and hopeful about how things are moving forward in a scenario here. You can see your ships coming in. You can see successes on the horizon, though it's not it's not in the bag yet. But you, you feel uplifted. And with the Knight of Pentacles, Night Spring offers an opportunities for change. The Knight of Pentacles can be offers opportunities, someone making you an offer. Can be a sum of money, can be very good also in terms of job, business opportunity, career, real estate. The go ahead on some kind of money you know, that you've been applying for or hoping for, whatever that scenario would be. King of Wands. King of Wands uh, can be linked with fire energy, but it's not limited to that, male or female. We can all manifest as the King of Wands. Now, this could be the person who is bringing in an offer, potentially, but not always. It could well be by your action, by being empowered, courageous, go-getting, driven, not... Being defeatist, but we keep on going with the King of Wands energy. He's very empowered. King of Wands is always a sign of success because really they don't accept the alternative, which would be defeat, you know. So they're always successful energy because they're empowered. They'll, they won't stop until they get where they want to be, you know. And this is the scenario here. So this is either your energy or you might be connecting to King of Wands. Can even hold the Wand of Opportunity. Not limited to that. Uh, as characteristics, confident, go getting driven, magnetic. Downside of a king of wands would be, or male or female in this energy, would be, can be a little bit egotistical as well. But this feels like, um, keep on going forward. You'll keep, you're told it's about to get so much better. <laughs> Just keep on going forward. Things are about to get so much better and you're going to wait and see how this plays out. Because it's synchronicity, divine timing, orchestration, spirit helping you and supporting you. But things are playing out in divine timing, not necessarily the timing we want. Okay. You know, let's pull a must message from heaven to... Finish off this reading. Message from heaven, thank you. Again, whatever heaven means to you.
Listen to your inner voice as we try to guide you. Use your intuition number 21. I was just looking at that card because you see the, um, is it a leopard? Looks like a leopard or a cheetah of some kind. But um, it's a cat anyway, and it kind of waits patiently, you know, for the opportune moment to come. So I feel like that's what you're being told. Just wait, your opportune moment is coming. And it's linked with, these are lovely cards, getting a wish, getting exactly what you want, material success, getting what you deserve, reaping the fruits of your labor, just lovely. We understand that sometimes you may feel alone, but we are always here, number 12. Okay, that's what I have for the day. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.